get things to shift. As hospitals were desperate for PPE at the start of the pandemic, the government was bending over backwards to get hold of it. I believe the children are our future. But there are more questions about their dealings with Conservative peer Michelle Moan, who rang ministers to offer the services of her husband's firm at huge profit and then repeatedly denied having anything to do with it. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. I wasn't trying to pull the wool over anyone's eyes and I regret and I'm sorry for not saying straight out, yes, I am involved. Labour leader Keir Starmer says the government must explain what happened. Shocking disgrace from top to bottom. Um, and as every day goes past, there are more questions that need to be answered. There's now suggestions that there was early private contact with members of the Cabinet that may have started this unhappy story in the first place. So the government needs to come clean. During the first year of the pandemic, the Department for Health and Social Care spent £12 billion on PPE. 75% of that was written off and much of it was never used by the NHS. It's claimed that PPE contracts through the so-called VIP lane, referred by ministers, were 80% more expensive than other suppliers. Why didn't you call out Baroness Moan's lies? Michael Gove has already faced questions about his phone call with Michelle Moan. The Prime Minister failed to defend her. The government takes these things incredibly seriously, which is why they're in the pursuing legal action against the company concerned in these matters. That's how seriously I take it and the government takes it, but it is also subject to an ongoing criminal investigation. Michelle Moan seemed disappointed, using tweets this afternoon to say what is Rishi Sunak talking about? I was honest with the Cabinet Office, the government and the NHS in my dealings with them. A spokesman for Michelle Moan told Sky News she has over a thousand pieces of correspondence with Michael Gove and government officials. This saga of money, politics and pandemic decisions is far from over. Tamara Cohen, Sky News, Westminster.